guys, this is X Factory Gaming here with another video, and tonight, or today, whatever, this is Super Mario Bros. 3 Mix. Let's -a go! And uh, as you can tell, the selection is between Mario, Luigi, and Toad from Super Mario 2. The only one that's not playable is Princess. And let's get the game started as I tried, I tried uh, to get the uh, stuff centered here. It took forever to do anything. Hang on a minute. Okay, there we go. Never mind. Here we go. Now this is being played on 3D Sin, so that's why it's in 3D. Because 3D makes this game look a whole lot better. Now we start off with a level from the opening level from Super Mario Bros. 3, obviously, because, well, that's the original game this is based off. <clears throat> no, this is actually a hack of Super Mario 3 that adds levels and music for Super Mario 1, 2, and 3. Now, the levels aren't really in order. <clears throat> they come up at random times from random, those first three random Super Mario games. Now, on this channel as well, we are going to end up exploring some of those bootleg Mario games that you might have seen on uh, rip-off consoles at malls. Maybe you've seen them on uh, Re-Res with Shane Lewis. I'll link to that channel down below if you're curious. <clears throat> Speaking of things you can do down below, let me know, guys, if you want if you want to see more of this. Basically, a much harder Super Mario Brothers 3, as you'll see in later levels. I actually see it in this level, because I remember dying a couple of times in this level, too. <coughs> as I grab the invincibility star there, running right through everything and floating. You can do that if you're big. I think if you're big Mario and you have the P bar floated all the way up. Now, and when I played it, as I didn't see any of the Super Mario 3 power ups. As in this level, if I remember my Super Mario correctly, this level you would have actually seen the rat raccoon tail by now. And there's that split pipe you can go down or you can go to the right. I went down, obviously. And this is from Super Mario Brothers 1. As you can tell by the classic underground music. Same music as always. What I was trying to do, I was trying to see if I could access the top of the board there so I could see if the old uh, Minus World glitch works. I've tried in both of these worlds and no, it does it in three minutes. <coughs> Only in the first Super Mario game. Now that coin, those coins I figured out actually replace the slot machine in this game. And it's at the end of the first level there. Get three of those, I think you get an extra life, but I'm not sure. I haven't been able to pick up all three of them to fake, figure it out. But I guarantee this will more than likely be a series on this channel. Because I, en I enjoyed what I played of it, honestly. And I think you guys enjoy seeing me play this kind of stuff, so we'll play it again sometime. Oh, wow. I kicked that turtle right into myself there. back to the first level because we ran out of lives here, obviously, but <clears throat> any way you look at it, this is actually a pretty fun conver uh, hack conversion mod, whatever you want to call it, for Super Mario 3. Definitely adds more things to it that weren't 
actually available. I will have a link to where you can find this, and I will also be making a video later on on how to apply the IPS patch. And also, there's two there's uh, two versions of the IPS patch here. I'd like to play the other one at some point to see if there's any differences. Maybe a head-to-head -head episode? I do need to get back to making that after all. <clears throat> this is a highly recommended hack for anybody that's a Super Mario Brothers fan in general. So I guarantee you, any Super Mario Brothers fan, their favorite... Your, if you ask any Super Mario fan what their favorite is, it's more than likely going to be Super Mario 3 if they played it. Do we drop in? And uh, let's, uh, we're redoing this level. I'm not for sure what that mushroom up there does yet. I still haven't learned a whole lot about the game yet. But my guess is if you have every, if you have, if you have the fire, fire, fire plan and you actually hit that, it might give you a power up. I don't know. I think they made them harder to earn in this game though. You can't just find them out in the wild in random blocks. I think you gotta <coughs> either get three of those coins or you have to do... Or you have to get to a later level, because I haven't seen any yet on my playthroughs. Honestly, they may not even be here. Who knows? I'd love to see the Tanuki suit, though. Uh, can I get it? Can I get it? Can I get it? Let's try again. And yes, I got it. A thousand points, since I already had the fire flower. Fire, fire, fire flower. Why couldn't I say that? I was unable to access that top part, I don't think. At least, not until I got to the elevators. <clears throat> there's supposed to be, I don't know if it's in the, this version, but in the original version of Super Mario, as we all know, there's a warp zone. If you run all the way across the top of the screen, there's actually a warp zone that'll take you to World 4. I doubt those warp zones made it into this, because I don't remember there being warp zones in Super Mario 3. There were warp whistles. And like I said before, this is based on Super Mario 3, but we're gonna take a... We're gonna take away these platforms up and see how far it leads. <coughs> anyway. Or, or no, we won't, because there was nothing up there. Now, on the old... On Super Mario 1, you could actually perform a very specific jump breaking two blocks and it'll take you to the minus world. It doesn't work here. I tried it. Anyway, we finally passed this level. And I get a 1-up for clearing the flag. Now, you cannot clear the flag. Oh! That was a myth about Super Mario 1, but it can't be done. I've tried several times and I can't do it. Then again, I haven't figured out how to access the minus world yet, so... I mean, I know how to do it, I just can't trigger it. So I'm still convinced, even though I've seen it in action in Retro Blues, that the Minus World's in there. I challenge anyone to premiere on in the comments and show me a video that says, that tells me that the uh, Minus World of Mario 1 is not a myth. Go for it. But for right now, I stand on it's a myth. Anyway, it looks like we're about to near the end of the video. <clears throat> I don't have to remind you to like, comment, and subscribe, but I'll, I just did it anyway because, well, I have the graphics at the beginning of the video for that, but... If somebody could tell me what part of Super Mario 3 this level's from, because I don't think I've ever gotten this far in it, let me know in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed watching because I I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed playing. I've been itch, I've been wanting to try this out ever since I saw it on GameSack about 
what was it, a year or two ago, I think. I'll link that episode in the description if I can find it. I think they were talking about hacks or something. I don't, I don't remember exactly, but we'll figure it out somehow. Anyway, I don't recognize this music. I... I said you know, quite a few times in my practice runs with this that it sounds like it's from one of the Kirby games. I think it is. I mean, it sounds like it might be. Take a listen. I mean, it sounds like it's from Kirby's Dreamland or something. Not sure why a Kirby, Kirby song would be in a Mario game, but eh. Uh, <clears throat> I want to specifically call somebody to the comment section and see if he can uh, actually confirm this for me. Uh, my buddy Dark Kirby 13, I believe his name is. If you watch this video, drop me a comment if this is from Kirby. Telling me if this is from Kirby or not, I should say. We are in we are nearing the end of this video so again I hope you guys enjoyed it everybody for watching and I also want to say good afternoon everybody we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and continue talking even though I've kind of signed off because well there's more to say Anyways, well, this video has actually gone on longer than I thought. I guess I'll have to cut out that part where I said goodbye, but at least we're progressing in the level here. <coughs> now, this is for a coin. Remember, since we had to start over, I lost the coin I had. And I had, I had a heck of a time trying to get up that second part. start to hit that block right there because it just didn't want to do it. Got the coin, and I'm heading back down. I'm not messing with this again. see if we can finally complete the level <clears throat> for a bit of a redemption with this level redemption story with this level because I was having trouble with it during the practice rounds and we got to the arrow that signals the end of the level another I fell right down the hole and that was basically a hit so I'm gonna go ahead and say if you want to see more of this video if you
you want to see more videos like this, leave me a like, a comment, and a subscription. And again, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you with more videos at some point this week. Bye, everyone.